Hey there friends, Foster the Canadian here, and we are doing another mod showcase, this time the wonderfully fantastic, one of my all-time favorite mods in fact, the Portal Gun mod. So let's just jump in right off the bat. Portal Gun, gotta learn how to make it. So here's the Portal Gun. Now what you need to do is, first off, you gotta create yourself a miniature black hole, which is no easy task. By the way, I want to state right off the bat that all the recipes in this will be normal mode, not easy mode recipes, because... That's, uh, that, that's pretty much the standard way that you would build these, so, uh, that's what I'm going with. Now, to build the miniature black hole, you need to create yourself some ender pearl dust and put it around a nether star. Now, how do you create ender pearl dust? What you do is you take an ender pearl, you cook it, and you get ender pearl dust. I'll just demonstrate that real quick right here. And we get ender pearl dust, so there you go. Now, so... Uh, you take all these iron ingots, five iron ingots, one diamond, two pieces of obsidian, and you put them in your black hole in the middle. You get yourself the portal gun. Now, a few things you can do with the portal gun. If you click in the mouse, the middle mouse button, the mouse wheel, you can zoom in. And, uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's walk up to something here. Let's walk up to this. Now, if you hit G. Oh, gravity gun. Look at that. So you pick it up, and, uh, now you can place it. I should probably place it right back where it was. It was, uh, here, I think. All right, now time to have fun with the portal. So, let's just uh, place a portal right there. Place a portal right there, and... Oh, portal gun time. Now, it wouldn't be... It, it just it wouldn't be right if we didn't do some real fun stuff with the portal gun. So, let's just fire one up there. All right, fire one down here. And... Oh, hell yeah. Oh! Be very careful with your portal. Remember that, friends. All right, now, as you may notice, uh... Items will also go through the portal. Let's see if we can grab this without... Yeah, I grabbed it. So you can hit R. Take away the portals. Reset it, basically. R to reset. Not uh, not too difficult to remember. Okay, now, uh, momentum does obviously carry a lot in portal. And it does indeed in this mod, as I'll try to demonstrate here. Alright, so we got that going. Hopefully this works. Let's jump in. Oh, there we go. Momentum. So, it works pretty much the way that you would expect a portal gun to, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's reset it again. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go mess with the mob. All right, so this guy's been knocking on the door, bugging me while I'm trying to do a showcase, so uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun with him. I'm just going to... Well, I don't need to close that door, I guess. Why not? I'll let him uh, just follow me in here. That's right. Come on in, test subject. Ah, let me just uh, close the door behind you. If you don't mind me, sir. Oh, what? Wow, that's what you get for standing in the in the window. Okay, but before you die, just place one, uh... That's fine. I'll place one right there. And, uh, place one right there. Oh, look at you. You don't know what to do. You're just getting hurt over and over. Oh, and now you're dead. You're dead. Okay, moving on. We have different types of portal guns. Now, this is pretty cool. If you want to create either Atlas's or Peabody's gun from Portal 2, you're going to use either light blue dye with the portal gun or dandelion yellow dye. Now, if you want to create yourself a portal bacon gun, you put it in with a pork chop. Not too difficult. In fact, uh, I'll do that right now because it's... It, well, let's just, it, let's just say what everyone's thinking. It's charming as hell to have a bacon gun. It's just so charming. Look at this. Oh, bacon gun. You see, it uh, fires different colored portals than the default portal gun, which, by the way, I, whoop, R, I almost, uh, I almost forgot to show you guys that you can, uh, you can create, whoop, I gotta stop trying to click with that. If you cook your portal gun, as you're gonna see here, alright, there we go, I just had to deal with those guys. If you cook your portal gun, you get the single colored portal default portal gun. So, basically, no matter what, it will only fire the one color, which, uh, could come in useful if you have multiple portal guns, but once again, the recipe is, I gotta stop doing that. Recipe is kind of expensive with the nether star being what you need to acquire. Okay, but we also have the potatoes. <laughs> and, uh, uh, what you need to do to create the potatoes. You get yourself redstone, two repeaters, a jukebox, Two torches, a potato, a button, and dandelion yellow. You get yourself a potato. So now what the potato does, well, it does nothing. But if you combine it, well, 
If you combine it with the portal gun, a default portal gun, I believe uh, is what you need. Let's see if I can do it with this. Uh, no, so yeah, you're gonna need the default portal gun. So I'll just create one real quick. Thankfully, I have all the materials. Okay, default portal gun plus potatoes, and you get the potato gun, which, uh, the GLaDOS portal gun. Look at that. I had the audio off. I didn't realize it made noises. This is awesome! I didn't even realize! This is freaking... Ow! Beautiful! Okay, so that was much more delightful than I thought it was going to be. Just put some of these guns away. Actually, uh, let's keep the, let's keep the bacon gun. Gotta keep that bacon gun. Okay, moving on! We have portal spawners! Now what you're going to want to do is put four iron ingots in the corners, two diamonds on either side, and a miniature black hole in the middle, and you get yourself a portal spawner. Now, what this does, if you... Oh, I forgot to hit R. Oh, okay, good enough. Uh, if you put two of these on the ground, by the way, you do get two for that recipe. And then you walk up, you can click, uh, let's put one on that. And over here, let's put one there. Whoop. Now, if you grab yourself a couple of uh, redstone torches, like I have right there. Place a torch next to it, it will, oh, it will activate it. And now... You have stationary portals that you can put anywhere, so this will, uh, ow, oh, I almost died. Comes in quite handy. You can deactivate it, uh, or you can set it to deactivate when you take redstone off. I did not, but, uh, you can see in the options that you have the ability to do that. Man, this place is going to be covered in portals before I'm finished. Okay, now we have the portal gun pedestal. Now, what this does is pretty much what you would expect. You place it down. Oh, that is a beautiful animation right there. Place your portal gun on it, and there you go. There you have it. Portal gun pedestal. Then you can just walk up, take your portal gun anytime you need it. But uh, it looks pretty cool, so I'm just going to leave that there for now. Look at that. Just marvel in its magnificence. That's that's great. Let's go mess with the bat. <laughs> uh, sorry, bat. Oh. Oh, that bat doesn't know what just happened. That's great. All right, now screwing around, let's move on with other parts of the mod showcase. Sorry, I just have a lot of fun with this mod. Okay, moving on. Ah, now this. This is actually uh, something that's really, really cool. So, high energy pellet catcher and high energy pellet launcher. So, you create it with redstone in the middle, bottom middle, gold ingots on the bottom left and right, and then on the left and right, you have the iron ingots for the launcher, and you have an iron ingot and an obsidian block for the catcher. Now, what this does is actually quite fantastic. So let's have the catcher right here next to the block. And uh, let's just make sure that I got this right. Okay, so if I place the launcher here, take that redstone torch that's there, place it next to it. Oh, now let's just follow this pellet and... Oh, it activates it! So you see the light come on because it now is a redstone, or, uh, yeah, it's a redstone circuit, so it powers that. So you can basically, uh, power things remotely, which is absolutely fantastic. If you have any complex setups, or maybe, I, I know there are a lot of maps that work with this mod. This is a fantastic, uh, implementation to the mod. All right, now moving on, we have the Electronic Intelligence Indicator. You create it with an iron ingot, redstone, and a piece of glass. And what it will do, if I uh, place it right here, you'll see that it's just normal. It doesn't uh, change. It's got the X on it. But if I place it next to something that is redstone powered, oh, look at that. It tells you that, yeah, indeed, it's being powered. So you can place something here that is activated with redstone, and it will indeed activate it. You place it there, not going to activate it. So if you're uh, building something complicated and you want to make sure before you place something down, just place that down and you can safely place anything that you need. Alright, moving on. Now, this is incredibly handy for Minecraft living. Not just, you know, creating intricate puzzles to go through for yourself. This is all about Minecraft survival now. These are the longfall boots. Well, not all about Minecraft survival, but this will help you out quite a bit. Longfall boots. You create two diamonds, or you use two diamonds with six iron ingots, three on either side, and an obsidian block in the top middle, you get one longfall boot. You make two of those, you put them together, you get the longfall boots. Now, what this will do is negate any fall damage, so it's basically a uh, super feather falling. And if I take a gun right here, place one right there, let's place one right there, you're gonna see 
No damage taken. So that's quite handy indeed. Ah, everyone's favorite. Here we go. We got the weighted storage cube, which you create with stone and uh, iron ingots. You put iron ingots in the corner. You put the stone in the top, bottom, left, and right. You get yourself a weighted storage cube. Now, if I place this down real quick. All right, there you go. See, it's a weighted storage cube, but the fantastic thing about it. If I take a rose and I go, hello, hello, my friend. Will you please take this rose? Oh, it loves me. And now it's a companion cube! Look at it! Ah, Look at that. So that's how you create the companion cube. You actually place the storage cube on the ground, put a rose on it. You cannot create it by putting the rose in the cube into a crafting bench. It just doesn't work that way. Now I got this lovely thing right here. I'm gonna just, uh, let's just place it right there for now. Here we go! We have the aerial faith plate. You create it with three iron ingots, redstone, glass, and obsidian. Okay, now, what this will do, you place it on the ground there, and, oh, the moment you step on it, good thing I was wearing those boots. Look at that, trying to rain on my parade. All right, we put that portal there, let's put another one, uh, let's put another one up there, and more momentum testing. Ah, oh, I placed it wrong. Okay, now, more momentum testing. There we go, look at that, all right, so, as you see, there's quite a few really interesting pieces to this mod, but I'm not done yet! Alright, if you take your companion cube and you decide to be a cruel-hearted person, you can cook it! And when you're done cooking it, you get a music disc! So you get Still Alive, the classic song from the end credits of Portal, and if you decide, ah, I want to cook this, you will get another disc. You get the radio loop! Alright, now, as I show you here, by cooking the still alive disc, you get the radio loop. Now, it's not the only thing you can do, you can combine them together, just regular still alive music discs, and you get the once you gone music disc. And if you uh, decide to put the radio loop in a little bit of a, I guess an iron helmet formation, you can get an actual radio. So let's just place this down for a second. Okay, I'm worried about uh, copyright, so I'm gonna take that down, all the valves Pretty cool about that kind of stuff, I don't want to chance it. Oh, all right, this is one of my favorite parts about the mod. So we have the sentry turret, and uh, I'm going to go to a special place to show you this, but uh, I might as well talk about this for a bit. If you cook the sentry turret, you get the defective turret. You create the sentry turret uh, by putting down obsidian blocks on the bottom left and right. Uh, another iron helmet formation on the top here. With redstone in the middle, you get yourself a sentry turret. All right, now here we are at the firing range. So if I place down my sentry turret right here, oh, sorry about that. If I place my sentry turret right here, there we go. Now let's, uh, let's summon a zombie real quick. Oh, look at that little guy. He can't get to it. Oh, this is a beautiful sight right here. Oh, yes, you can because I'm gonna spawn. Uh, let's spawn everything. Absolutely everything. Why not? Let's see how much this can handle. Alright, so, wow. Oh, it's taking down the creeper. Gotta get... Oh, no! The skeleton took it down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, something took it down for sure. That's okay. That's okay because I'm still here. I've got, uh, I've got this quick escape. Oh, that quick escape sucks! Oh, this sucks! Goodbye. Alright, well, near-death experiences are all part of Portal anyway, so, uh, yeah, might as well just embrace it. Now, I haven't explored a lot of these rooms in my lab, so might as well go to the dance party room. Best place to hang out with my defective turret, buddy. What? Alright, yeah, that's right, but here, hey, we can dance. Oh! So if you bump into it, you will knock it over. But look at this guy, he's lovely. Oons, 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 hey. Gonna just, uh, see if I can, nope. Uh, put you right there. Yeah! Oh, I killed him. Oh, well, moving on. We still got more of the mod to show off, and I'm excited. All right, now we have the weighted storage cube vents as well as the weighted companion cube vents. So, what you're going to want to do for this is use iron ingots at the bottom here. You have glass panes on either side. At the top left and right, you got iron ingots, and at the very top middle, you have the redstone. In the middle, you either have the weighted storage cube or the weighted companion cube. I'll take both here for you and show you real quick what it can do. So you're gonna wanna place this on a uh, ceiling right here, or let's see if we can place it on the ground. Nope, on the wall. Nope, you gotta place it on the ceiling. Activate it with a redstone torch or any piece of redstone, and 
Oh, look at that, it drops it out. Perfect. So you can continually have friends. Let's have another friend. Let's move this friend over by the other friend. All right, totem pole friend, and with that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. The link to the mod is in the description. I hope you enjoyed the showcase. If you did, uh oh, show me with a thumbs up. And if you guys would like to recommend any other mods that I can showcase, let me know in the comments section. And until next time, this is Foster the Canadian. Oh, look at this. Friends want to come hang out with the totem pole friend. Till next time, this is Foster the Canadian. Where'd he go? Saying see ya. Science!